Hello and welcome to the highlights from the Tenants Premiership and Tenants National Leagues. Plenty of action to bring you from this weekend, but before that, there was a couple of games to catch you up on. At Stonyhill, Musburgh got the better of Glasgow Hawks, scoring six tries, including a hat-trick from Sandy Watt. The other game to tell you about was at Mansfield Park where Hoyk Bulldoes passed Aberdeen Grammar. That result puts Aberdeen out of their misery, meaning they are officially relegated from the Premiership. Now to this week's action, and unfortunately Aberdeen were only playing for pride as they hosted Selkirk in a clash of the bottom two. It was a home side who made the faster start, scoring inside the first minute when flanker Patrick Mulholland powered over. Selkirk responded instantly, however, and got themselves right back into the game after being awarded this penalty try. Two more tries followed in quick succession for the visitors. Ben Pickles got his name on the score sheet for the first before Callum Anderson added another in what was a frantic opening 20 minutes. Grammer then hit back, with Nudson intercepting this pass to scamper in and score. <laughs> Aberdeen winger Craig Shepherd scored their third try of the day to give the home side a slender two-point advantage going into the break. The second half was far less eventful than the first as Selkirk ran out of steam against a determined Aberdeen defence. Sam Nudson added two penalties to give the home side their second win of the season. Elsewhere in the Tenants Premiership there were four other matches. Jed Forrest won a nail-biter with GHA at Riverside. The home side came from eight points behind in the second half to turn it around and win by two in the end. Ross Nicol held his nerve to score the match-winning penalty late on. Edinburgh Ackies kept up their good form this season with another bonus point win. They were pushed all the way by a spirited Glasgow Hawks side who never gave up at Balgray. Mars secured themselves a home playoff spot with a win over Hoyk at Fullerton. Curran McMullen scored two tries, one either side of half time, to secure the victory for the home side. It is likely that both sides will have to do it all again come the playoffs in March. Curry continued their relentless run of form. They blew away Musselburgh at Stony Hill, scoring nine tries, and with it secured top spot in the Tenants Premiership. So your top four is as it was. Results dependent, of course, we'll find out who will make up those semi-final ties. In mid-table, only one point separates sixth, seventh and eighth. And at the bottom, Aberdeen gained some ground on Selkirk with their win, but unfortunately their fate is already sealed. The tie of the round next week is at Edinburgh Ackies, who play in an Edinburgh derby against Curry. Elsewhere, Aberdeen will hope to end their Premiership stay on a high as they take on Musselburgh. Jed Forrest, Host Mar, and GHA are at Selkirk. 
to 10th National 1 now and there was a huge game at the top of the table. Second place bigger entertained first place Harriets. Ewan Stewart got the home side off to a flyer. He peeled off the side of this mall to touch down. Four, get back. Ewan Makara added to Bigger's advantage with a penalty on the stroke of half time. It wasn't until the second half hour that Harriets came into the game. A well worked set piece set up Danny Deneen for the easiest of scores for the visitors. Ewan Stewart got his second try of the day for Bigger, an almost identical carbon copy of the first after some more good work from the forwards. Harriet's kept at it though and hit back through Don Martin to reduce the deficit to just three points and set up a thrilling finale. In the 80th minute, Bigger had a scrum on their own five metre line. Unfortunately for the host, however, they couldn't close the game out and the ball slipped out the back and Danny Deneen was there to pounce and win it at the death for Harriets, sparking mass celebrations in what could be a crucial victory in the race for the title. There were three other matches across 10th National 1. Ayr got their 10th win of the season with another victory at Melbury, this time against Dundee. The Ayrshire team have now registered back-to-back -back wins for the first time since October. Gala got the better of Mel's and what was a low scoring encounter in the borders. Advantage for your side. And it was one way traffic at Kelso who put 40 points past Burmuir, inflicting more misery on the Edinburgh side, who are now running out of games to avoid the drop. They are four points behind City rivals Watsonians. At the top, it's as you were with Harriet's leading Gala and Bigger, but with only six points separating the top three. There's a couple of matches on Friday night to look forward to. Both bits have been rescheduled. A second against third as Gala hosts Bigger, and Melrose take on Watsonians at the Green Yard. On the 5th of March, there's another full card of fixtures with Burmuir playing Harriet's in a bottom of the table against top of the table clash. And Carther will be hoping that they can move away from the relegation zone as they host Gala. To 10th National 2 now and the weather put a stop to the top four and bottom two. But the three remaining games made up for it. And there was a one point games in both New Allensland and Bladnick. Hamilton continued their fight for survival with a win over Glasgow Ackies, whilst Peebles put a dent in Falkirk's promotion hopes. They'll be looking to bounce back against Stuart's Melville next time around, while there's another huge class as second place Dumfries Saints host Preston Lodge. In Tenants National 3, four of the top five were in action against each other. Last Wade beat West of Scotland to go eight points clear at the top. Berwick got a narrow victory over their fellow promotion challengers Hillhead Jordan Hill to go fourth and they're in hot pursuit of Howrah Fife in third place. A couple of good ties to look forward to next time around. Greenock Wanderers will be hoping they can get their second win of the season when they host Perthshire. Elsewhere, Berwick travel to the west of Scotland. So Scotland are back in action here on Saturday at BT Murrayfield as we play France in the Guinness Six Nations. We'll be back with the Tennis Premiership and Tennis National League highlights in two weeks' time, however, as the battle for promotion and relegation heats up. We'll see you then.